right there in the middle and on the bottom on that ticker that'll take you where you need to go. After months of speculation, Peter Meyer is officially running for the U.S. Senate. This afternoon, Fox 17's Eileen Gould sat down with the former congressman to discuss why he's decided to jump back into the political arena. After a short tenure in Congress, many wonder if Meyer can win over Republican voters after losing his re-election bid last year. But during our conversation, Meyer made it clear he has more to give, not just to West Michigan, but the entire state. Uh, I mean, I'm going to call bulls and strikes. It's a name West Michigan knows all too well. It, it does crack me up sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I'm never going to vote for you because you changed the layout in that store and I can't find anything <laughs> anymore. It's like that store Meyer or Myers, as many affectionately call it. As for the grandson of Fred Meyer, he's hoping to add a different S to his name, Senator. You know, this race is going on. I, I want to continue to serve. I cannot stay on the sidelines. After losing the Republican primary to John Gibbs, Peter Meyer left Congress this past January after just one term. Now, 11 months later, he's no longer Congressman Meyer, but candidate Meyer, running to fill Debbie Stabenow's seat after she announced her retirement earlier this year. He knows it'll be an uphill climb. You know, I've heard point blank from folks in D.C. who say, listen, Michigan elects Republican governors, not Republican senators. And after voting to impeach former President Trump, Meyer says he knows he has to win over parts of the Republican base. His plan? Simple conversations with Michigan voters. You know, when you get beyond just communicating with a screen in between you, uh, there's much more of an opportunity for someone to go, oh, I hadn't thought about it that way. Or, hey, I still don't agree. I will always disagree. Um, but here, I think this guy can actually get something done. That's the, the way I think you need to approach things. And Despite that, his impeachment vote is one he stands by. I mean, I regret that we had to get to that point. Um, you know, I think what happened on January 6th was dark. It was disgraceful. It was shameful. Um, I, I regret that that probably cost me the opportunity to be in office and hold similar accountability against the Biden administration. But if I had to go back in time, I would not change that. Things he does want to change? Immigration in America. I strongly think that we just need to tear down the system to begin with. We have tried to have minor modifications along the way. I don't believe incremental progress is possible. And as a new dad, he wants to make it easier for people to have a family. So much of that is going to come down to cost. I mean, yeah. Families should not be looking at whether or not to have a child and having it come down to a financial decision. There's obviously a financial impact, mm -hmm. but having that outweigh you know, their own personal considerations, I think, um, is a sad reflection on where we are. But when asked about his biggest priority day one, his first answer wasn't a specific policy item, but instead a focus on making sure constituent services are in place so that his office can be a resource for Michiganders. Because that constituent service component is the most essential. Michigan hasn't had a Republican senator since Spencer Abraham left office in 2001. But despite history and Meyer's own political challenges, he's leaning into the risks. When moments are uncertain, even if there, is a, there are steep odds, in my mind, that's even more reason to get in rather than to just sit aside. While Meyer says he has serious concerns with former President Trump, he says he will support whoever is the Republican nominee for president. Meanwhile, he faces a primary of 10 Republicans, including former Congressman Mike Rogers and former Detroit Police Chief James Craig. And on the other side, there are currently six Democrats running for the open seat and one independent. The current frontrunner, Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin. The Senate primary will take place next August.